Feature by Design has been a unique experience in a number of ways. First of all, making a film where the entire film is about a single person, about one guy, one man, and his life and his work was very interesting because there wasn't a lot of cross-cutting and other dimensions and other uh, points of view. It was all, you know, getting into the layer, peeling back the layers, the onion skin of, of this person and, and who they are and why they do what they do and, and how they got to where they are. The other thing about Future by Design is who Jacques Fresco is. And Jacques Fresco is the equivalent of a Buckminster Fuller and an Albert Einstein all rolled into one, but he's still alive. And to, on top of that, he's not known well in the world. So to me, he was this incredible discovery and his work is unprecedented as far as I'm concerned. The, the, the evolution of his work has taken place over a 60, 70 year period. And the fact that he started in the 1920s and is still alive today and has used this incredible mind and this incredible adept awareness and, and insight and sense of innovation to essentially address the entire world and how the entire world is built and how the entire world operates and the values and methods and technologies and use of resources and methods of governance, all these different things he has looked at and analyzed and deconstructed and reconstructed into a model that is sensible, functional, efficient, equitable, um, has everyone's best interest in mind and is doable and is practical and could actually be implemented if people put their minds to it. The other thing about Future by Design that has been for me, relatively unique, is that it's about the future. And I am old enough to remember when the future was an exciting uh, topic that was anticipated with great uh, expectation and, and uh, uh, something that was fun to talk about and fun to think about and entertaining. And over the years, since the you know late 1960s, early 1970s, the future has slowly sort of crept down in stature in our culture to where people don't talk about the future. They don't want to talk about the future. They're afraid of talking about the future. And Jacques Fresco has a vision of the future that is totally constructive and totally optimistic were his ideas to be actually implemented. So I, I found it very refreshing to suddenly be involved in the future again. I feel that in terms of creating something that is a contribution, that pointing people in the direction of looking at the future, especially young people today, is uh, one of the best things that we can do.